you seem to be having some issues with feeling fatigue, that you have a new taste for eating ice, um, your meals are spooning, and some pale conjunctiva. Um, I think you have something called iron deficient anemia. Uh, there are some other factors which would support this, uh, your age, sex, and being pregnant, combined with your labs, and then the assessment that we just talked about. The definition of iron deficient anemia is when the supply of iron necessary to produce hemoglobin is inadequate to meet the demand of the hemoglobin production. So in other words, not have, we don't have enough iron for the blood. Um, iron deficient anemia can occur for multiple reasons. Uh, decreased iron consumption, decreased iron absorption, those two will both come back to, increased loss uh, because of bleeding. I don't think that's an issue. Uh, so we're going to steer away from that one, or simply being pregnant, which uh, is something that uh, you are right now. So uh, to help with it, uh, I'm going to suggest more iron in your diet. I think that's going to be a good start. Um, this can be done two ways. We can do like dietary iron, so finding foods, or supplemental iron. Uh, with that being said, let's talk about the absorption side of it. You should probably start taking some vitamin C. Uh, we're drinking something like orange juice uh, to help with the absorption of iron. Uh, you could actually take your iron with orange juice to help that move along and uh, be absorbed into your into your body a little better. Um, some dietary ways to increase iron would be uh, to eat things like liver, red meat, fish, uh, beans, raisins, and green leafy vegetables. If you are vegan or vegetarian, uh, you should look into iron fortified foods like cereal and tofu. There are others, just something to start you out. Also, I do know that beans, raisins, and green leafy vegetables probably all fall under vegan or vegetarian, but not everybody's into those, so there's always some other options, and I figured just start you out with some. Uh, if you feel that taking pills or drinking a liquid is too much to do all at once, um, especially being pregnant, things can just randomly make you nauseous uh, two to a few times throughout the day. The only thing I'm going to caution you with, if you do it a few times throughout the day, is you're also going to have to avoid antacids uh, because of how they interfere with iron absorption. So if that's something that you're struggling with already, then you might want to do all your iron at once with maybe some orange juice, like we talked about earlier. And then that way you can take your antacids. I would wait at least four hours um, before taking that. That way you don't undo all the work you're doing uh, taking the iron. Uh, with you being pregnant and it's the first time you're experiencing this, it's important to know that there is not likely a genetic component to this and it's more likely a dietary um, issue or a pregnancy issue and the baby is depleting all your iron stores. Um, so after today, after our thing, I would suggest following up with a some sort of OB doc. Um, we can give you a number for that being that you're 26 weeks pregnant and it is your second child. Um, prenatal cares, maybe maybe they have a vitamin that would work well um, for this situation. Uh, doing that to make sure everything's good with you, everything's good with baby, and we can just take care of you as a, as a unit and then they'll be able to follow up and help you with that and then we're here for that as well. Um, so I hope that kind of answers what's going on for you and gives you some things to start working on. Um, and we'll see you again.